Hi there, RC Girl here. Today I am super freaking excited to unbox the Traxxas TRX4. I got this in the mail a couple days ago from RC Mart. This rig is amazing. I've also been kind of stalking people's Instagram that have this rig and there's a lot of great cool features and upgrades and accessories. I've been super impressed with what people have done with these cars. If you can dream it up, someone can 3D print it. My friends call it dolls for grown-ups. So technically I've already unboxed it. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably already know. And I did do like a box and pillow mountain in my living room just to drive it around and test it out because I couldn't wait to do the unboxing. This is my first scale trail rig and I think it's actually Traxxas's too. It's been out for about seven months already. I know there's strong feelings about the TRX4. So I'm not really wedded to Traxxas. I know there's the Traxxas axial rivalry, but I was really sold at the locking diffs and the high speed, low speed. So I know there's been a ton of unboxings already, so you can kind of get a feel for the rig with those. I learned a few things from those people and just want to highlight some key features about the car. I'm excited to unbox it and actually be able to take it outside now. And I did spend my own money on this, so I just want to be clear about that, that um, this is something that I really wanted for myself, so. I did order the red color and it came with the gray. I think it also comes in green but RC Mart is gonna send me out a red body. So it's been great working with them. Enough of the yapping, let's get to the unboxing. Here we go. So first we have our remote. We'll talk about this in a little bit more detail. I've had a little bit of time with it already. I think you can also link it up to their app if you buy the link enabled adapter. Ooh, so this is our instruction manual. I've perused it a little bit. We'll go into all the little bits and bobs in here in a second. Um, it doesn't have a ton of detail in the manual, but you can download it online on Trax's website. So definitely recommend learning all about the car. And that's about it. That's in the box. And this is an almost ready to run rig. You'll just need to get a LiPo battery and a charger. So otherwise it comes with everything ready to run out of the box, which is nice. Comes with the plastic over the rig so you doesn't get damaged in transit. So this thing is super cool. We'll talk about the body for a second. Supposedly someone said that it's around two pounds and it can be a little back heavy with the tire on the back. It comes with a a jack and some gas cans, obviously, because if you're out on the trail, you're gonna need some extra gasoline. So this is an actual functioning tire. I heard you can take it off and it releases some of the weight on the back so you don't wheelie. I personally think it looks cool, but we'll have to try that out both ways. It also comes with an adventure basket. Cool. These are kind of neat feature with the rubberized wheel fenders. So if you tip over, which you're not gonna do, but they're nice and flexible. One feature that people tended to not like is that the windows are not clear, so you can't do any internals unless you get a body and paint it yourself. So this is a Land Rover licensed Defender body. Has a little plastic thing, I can finally take it off. Exciting. It also is capable of having a ton of light setup. So you can have the light bar on the top or you can rig it with lights. There's also rock lights that you can add to it. And if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I'm obsessed with lighting these cars. So underneath you have the fender flaps that are attached to one another. It's a pretty rigid body. It also has these two pins here that lock into the chassis. So it's really solid when you have this on the car. So personally, I really liked the red one, but I'm kind of falling in love with this one too. So I'll do a little poll and let me know which one you guys prefer. I think this is gonna be really fun to accessorize and looks great, so. It also has a snorkel, pretty cool. One thing I did notice that it's hard to get on and off the car and you can't access the on and off switch when the body's on the car. Anyhow, we'll put this aside for now. All right, let's get to the rig. Dog hair. Don't know how that got in there. 
I already soldered an XT60 connector. This I think comes with the Traxxas connectors. I'm not super familiar with those because this is my first Traxxas rig, as I mentioned. So as far as the electronics, it comes with a Traxxas Titan 21 turn 550 size motor. And I heard that it's not the best motor. Perhaps the axials come with a little bit higher turn motor. So that might be something I upgrade over time. It also comes with the Traxxas XL5 HV waterproof ESC. So this thing is great. It has a little heat sink on it. It also has five different modes. So you can have trail mode. I think there's like competition mode. I have to still learn about all the different modes, but it puts the car in different settings. I think when it's in crawl mode, you can, uh, it, it has automatic braking. So when you release the throttle, it'll break the car. It also comes with four servos, which is crazy. So this is the locking differential servos. This is our high speed, low speed servo. So we also have a servo up front for our turning. And this is in a waterproof casing. This servo is not super high torque. So I heard that that's something that folks have been kind of as their first upgrade. As you can see on the front, there's a fake winch and some cool little tow hooks. These are plastic. I'm probably gonna upgrade to some metal red ones. Our receiver is in a waterproof box and I think there's some grease in here with the cables and I, I believe Traxxas vehicles, everything's waterproof on them. So that should be good to go. Also the battery tray here. It's pretty neat because you can have two different sized batteries. You just flip it around, lock it in place. So this is probably for a smaller three cell. Here I've been using the Zippy 5000 milliamp 2S batteries, so the two cell batteries. It's a 30C discharge rate in the hard case. And this fits pretty nicely in here. Has some cool skid plates, plastic on each side that are mounted to the chassis. And I really like these because the body fits nicely Nice and snug in here, so if you're getting dirt and rocks and stuff kicking up, it kind of seals off your internals when you're running through water and mud and all that, which I'm definitely gonna be doing. So a little bit about the tires. These are not the beadlocks. These are glue-on tires, but they're nice and soft. I also recommend taping the holes in these. I bet that's gonna affect the functionality, but if you want to make sure that the foam inside doesn't get ruined, definitely do that. One neat feature is look at all this clearance down here. You have portal axles here. So it's basically offset a little bit, it raises the car up. If you look at it from the side, it definitely raises everything up a little bit. Shocks, I think there's 30 weight oil in these. I'm not super certain about that. Maybe someone can leave a comment below. You can uh, adjust the preload on these as well. So here we have the radio. It has kind of a, a lot of great features. Here's the on and off switch here. I had uh, quite the time trying to figure out how to actually turn on the car so there's not a separate on and off switch. It's just turning, holding the ESC until the green light goes on. So the battery's not plugged in obviously, so it's not gonna go on. There we go, we got some power. So if you have it in the center, it'll lock your front diff here. If you have it forward, it'll lock both diffs. So these again are your servos that are locking the diffs. It says don't do this when the car's in motion, it could damage it, so always stop the car adjust it and then do the feature that you're trying to go over. So I'm gonna put that back. Another thing is the high speed, low speed, and that's the little red button here. And that adjusts your other servo. And it says again, don't do this while the car is in motion. So that'll basically set it in a different gearing and you can go faster, which is cool. So here we have our steering trim, our throttle trim, and you know, steering, throttle, obviously. This thing here is kind of an interesting feature. It adjusts how much control you have with the forward and the reverse. So all your programming is done with these two buttons. I haven't had a ton of experience messing around with that yet. All right, let's put the body back on it. So as I said, it's a little hard to get this thing on, finding the place. Cool, so let's take a look at our included materials. So it comes with the TRX manual. Did a little bit of investigating. It tells you how to use some of the features, but it isn't super, super detailed. So I would say if you wanna find out more about the car, take a look at their online manual for sure. Another thing it comes with, I think this is really funny because I think if you have this car, you probably have a better tool set with you, but it gives you a few Allen wrenches and something to take off perhaps the tires. It comes with a warranty. Definitely gonna fill this out online, register the car. Another thing we have here, figures of all the parts. 
So that's my one worry is that this car has a lot of great features, but that also means that there's a lot of things that could break on it. So got to know a little bit about cars to work on these. I wouldn't say it's your best entry level, even though it's super easy to drive. Um, if something goes wrong, then you kind of need to know how to fix it. So next we have our little body mount. I think this is for an aftermarket body mount. If you don't use the Defender, the Land Rover Defender body, it comes with some extra body pins. So that's cool. So it comes with two already out of the box and then you'll have two extras, two spares. And then lastly, some Traxxas stickers. And again, I'm not super wedded or married to Traxxas as a brand. I think this rig is great. I'm probably not gonna over Traxxas the car. I just designed a new logo for RC Girl, so I'm gonna print out some stickers for that. And um, I'll also have a gender neutral one if you're interested. Looking forward to customizing this body with some RC Girl stickers. What would it be without some scale accessories? Fun. One thing I'm super excited about, I mean, I'm excited about everything, let's be honest, but a hitch for a trailer. I think there's an aftermarket Tapui tow trailer and it's super cool, but it's like 450 bucks. So maybe in the future. Also got some Coke bottles. These are pretty cool. Some Yacht Racing decals. A scale bungee cord kit. So you can cut these to size. Tie down all your accessories on your rig. A scale shovel. How are you gonna build your crawler course without a scale shovel? Some RC crawler hooks and chain. From Yacht Racing, when I tip over, I can have a friend come save me with their real winch. And then if you have a fire out in the trail, you are gonna need a fire extinguisher. A 1 scale rock crawler bucket. And then lastly, I got a neat nylon tie strap. So tie the things down on my adventure basket. Cool, I'm excited about all my accessories and I get to play grown up dolls. <laughs> I'm also on about three and a half acres. So there's some unused space out there and I want to build a crawler course. If you guys have some ideas on what I should be doing, I'd love to have a collaborative build. Give me some ideas on what I should do next to this rig. And that's about it. Yeah. Traxxas TRX4 from RC Mart. I can't wait to take it outside. Now that I've done my second unboxing, I can actually take it outside and put it on the trails where it belongs. To the trails!